What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to another. And today we're going to be checking out uh, Frank Sinatra versus Freddie Mercury. Now, of course, this is two singers, two legendary singers getting together and having a rap battle, which is a, it's a, it's a fun idea if you think about it. If it were to happen in real life, like have both of them go into their own separate corners, create their own, I guess, raps, and have them go against each other. Now, I won't lie. I think because Freddie Mercury is closer to, uh, his style is more modern than Frank's was. I don't think Frank's rhymes would be as great. <laughs> I think Freddie would win just off of being, like, just being uh, close enough to actually have witnessed rap. Oh, I guess it depends on when you get Frank Sinatra. But I, I think that an older Frank Sinatra probably wouldn't really get, like, what makes rap good. I feel like he would just take words and just rhyme them together. But either way, this seems like a great idea. Um, as you guys know, I'm a huge fan of Freddie Mercury. I love some of Frank Sinatra's songs. Um, I'm not really big on him. He's just a little bit past my generation, I guess. So I guess the taste isn't there yet. I do love um, My Way, but to tell the truth, I like the Elvis rendition of it better. I know some people probably look at that and be like, are you crazy? Frank Sinatra absolutely destroyed that song. It was amazing. But uh, I just like the, uh, I like the uh, Elvis Presley version better. But uh, anyway, let's go ahead and jump into this and see what it has to offer. I'm going to try to be as objective as possible, being that I am a Freddie Mercury fan, and I'm going to see which one wins. So let's go ahead and jump into it. What's wrong with your face, baby? Yikes! With those teeth, would you throw them in old dust? Left the bike? Christ, newsflash, kid! This is show Long business! Wrestling. Class when you dress, shave that bush off your lips! Whoa. Your band's name Queen, huh? Ain't that sweet! You dance like you rode a bicycle race with no seat! That's what's wrong with you people! You'll do anything to get famous! You changed your name to Mercury! You should have been Freddy Uranus! <laughs> think I haven't heard of things before? You're just a bully who's too scared to go to war Get a hit song called My Way But someone else wrote it You're the least talented rat in your whole pack of bros You can in your whole range You can nice act you can dance I'm more powerful than you when I'm wearing women's pants <laughs> you stand there in a suit It's like you're trying to bow When I rap the UK South America gets horny <laughs> I didn't get that last part, bro. Yeah. I love the colors and the quiz. Just ask Sammy Davis. Look, we all want to swing, baby, but you took it too far. You played butthole roulette, and you lost the draw. I took one for both teams from a disease no one knew existed. I didn't leave a mark on history. I French kissed it. I'm a champion of the world. I'm extinguished in his pride. Run. So kiss my ass, Frank. Yes. But you have to wait in line. <laughs> I can picture Freddy saying that last line so much. <laughs> Is that like I like that last part. It sounded like um oh that was Tayson Day. It sounds like uh that last part was uh I guess a reference to Freddie doing the crowd participation that he does in his concerts. But um yeah, that last line, you have uh you can kiss my ass Freddie but you'll have to wait in line. That sounds like something that Freddie would say to an actual person that he was beefing with. So, I like the, how they did it. Uh, the dude that played Freddy probably should have, um, I mean, nice Peter. He should have probably bulked up a bit, but uh, I'll let that slide. I like the, the, I, the thing I like about these raps is they don't just take people that, like, they don't take their references and just make raps related to them. They do it in a style that's similar, or at least when they do the musicians. They do it in a style that is very similar to, like, how the musician actually sang. So... They add personality and character to each individual verse. So it's fun seeing, like... Well, actually, now that I think about it... I don't think the person that did Frank Sinatra really went into Frank's style. He was just, like, rapping. Or if the Nice Peter, he actually went into, like, Freddie's style and put the uh, rhymes in there. So, I don't know. I would... I would probably... Now... To me, Epic Lloyd's character, um, 
why did I say Eric Lloyd's character like he was playing a, something in a movie? Uh, Frank Sinatra had more vicious barbs, I guess, with the age reference and uh, gay comments and things like that. Um, probably didn't help himself with the Sammy Davis Jr. line. <laughs> uh, but um, Freddie was more, had more witty uh, com- comebacks. So there was a lot of like wordplay and thinking and just snappy comebacks. Like the, like I said, the stuff that he said are things that I can imagine Freddie really saying. So just for sticking to the the original source material, I would give this victory to Freddie. But it honestly, it would probably depend on what you look for in a battle rap because some people look for different things. Um, if you're looking for like who hit the hardest, I think that. Frank Sinatra probably hit harder because the t- the hardest thing Freddie said was he was afraid to go to war. He was um he called him the least talented person in the Rat Pack, which I don't know. Personally, I would say Sammy Davis Jr. was the most talented in that group. Um, was Dean Martin a movie star also? If that's the case, then you could probably throw him up there too. I mean, Frank Sinatra had the most talent as far as singing, but the other ones were, like, talented in other areas as well. Um, so, I I don't even know. Like, I don't even know if that uh, that line was true, so I can't really give it to Freddie for that one. Um, he said he was in with the Mafia. But, yeah, he didn't really hit uh, Frank Sinatra very hard. But, like I said, what he said was very witty, and it, it sounded good with the way that the person that played him uh, presented the songs whereas Frank Sinatra he hit hard but his other lines were very forgettable like he made references to Freddie Mercury being gay and it's like eh, I'm pretty sure Freddie Mercury has heard that before it's not something that's I, I, that I think is going to rattle him too hard so I mean that's whatever uh, the age reference was very tough um uh, Freddie did come back and say, well, I'm one of the reasons why awareness for that uh, disease became so prominent and stuff. Like, So that is true. Um, so, yeah, personally, I would give it to Freddie. But if somebody said Frank, I would be able to understand why. So you guys in the comment section, you go ahead and leave who you think what the winner was. And, you know, we can go ahead and you can have someone debate it, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> but, um <clears throat> I was about to say, as far as Freddie and the AIDS thing is concerned, and I know this might be iffy with some people. Some people might take it a certain way. Some people might not. But I do wish, and with all due respect, I know Freddie Mercury had the privacy to his health and stuff. I, you're not entitled to tell anybody what you're going through. But I do wish that with Freddie Mercury, someone that big and that prominent, when he was first diagnosed or when he first discovered that he was diagnosed, I do kind of wish he had come out earlier. Something like when I think back on it, because like if he had come out earlier, it would have presented more awareness for it. And it would have made people who were dealing with it publicly. Maybe like there's a relatable sense to it. Like, oh, well, Freddie has it, too. It's not just something I'm dealing with. There's other people that or there's it happens to anybody. And it's not just something that effect like happened to me or and things like that like i understand like i said i understand that he wanted to keep it to himself because he didn't want people to get into his business and with him being famous usually the stuff that like that regular people are criticized for famous people get criticized like a hundred times more so if he doesn't want to deal with that then i understand that as well i do wish that he had become like a a a spokesperson almost for aids um is I feel kind of the same way with Michael Jackson and Vitiligo because he kind of like dealt with it privately until he eventually talked about it on Oprah's uh, interview with him. I wish he had come out earlier when it first happened because there are other people dealing with Vitiligo too. And the idea of being like, oh, Michael Jackson has it too, so it's not just me or it can happen to anybody. It, I think that it would have probably been better. But like I said, I'm not saying that they sh- like absolutely should have. I just said I wish that they did. The fact that they didn't, I'm not going to be like, oh, well, they were wrong for that. Like, I, I completely understand why they didn't do it, but 
I just wish that they had come out sooner with it. But with that being said, that's all I have to say. Um, you guys can go ahead and give your opinions in the comment section down below. That's exactly, I don't know if y'all heard my slipper falling off. <laughs> but uh, that's what this channel is all about, uh, discussion and debate and being open and have an open mind and criticize not well criticizing yet yeah, because a lot of people especially nowadays they take criticism to mean like hating or they think criticism is bad and it's like criticism isn't always bad they're like that's how things improve you don't just bite the bullet and just accept stuff and just take it for what it's worth without like holding it against criticism because that's how you usually find the best of something or you make something the best of something by criticizing and analyzing what's wrong with it. But anyway, that's all I got to say. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and share. Um, I look forward to seeing you guys on a future video. I'm Devon Da Vinci. you just been a little bit more enlightened. Oh, before I go, before I go. These are my social media platforms. If you want to go ahead and try to get in contact with me outside of YouTube, whether it's to leave requests or if you, even if you want to leave a game that you want me to play on my... Uh, Twitch channel, I will go ahead and uh, take those into consideration. I'm always looking for a game that you guys might enjoy me uh, watching, and I do always love having people coming through the chat and have discussions and talk and or just just have fun. Like it, <laughs> it's usually a interesting experience. In one of my live streams when you can get into the chat and see what people are talking about. But um, either way, uh, if you want to follow me on these platforms, I'm mostly active on Twitch or not not Twitch, Twitter. <laughs> Uh, I'm not really so active on Instagram right now, but I will be at some point. But uh, you can go ahead and follow me there anyway if you want to go ahead and be there in the meantime for when those pictures and stuff do end up coming out. But either way, that's all I have to say. So with that being said, I'm Devon Da Vinci. you just been enlightened, and I look forward to seeing you guys on the next video. Oh, <laughs> deuces.